What's going on guys? My name is Xanaviz and we're back again with some Forza Horizon 4 and uh, it's been a really really interesting uh, update for Forza. This is uh, update 11 and it's Top Gear based. Now if you guys haven't seen that show uh, they take cars and trucks and a whole bunch of stuff and they just they mash them all together with uh, with other cars and see how they compete against each other. Now, I forgot how to get there. Oh, I think it's through here. Yes, it is. Right here, Top Gear. Top Gear is a story in Horizon. Let me go over here really quick. Well, I mean, you can see it through there, but it's a story that came out today. Uh, what's today's date? Uh, the 2nd of July. It took me a while to download this update though because it's like 3.37 gigabytes if I'm not mistaken but this is the this is the the story zero out of 21 stars because I haven't even started I want to start it with you guys anyways guys let's get into it oh shoot uh, I did not mean that I already marked our location on the map so we're gonna go there right now sorry for the long introduction I'm just I just needed to establish what we're doing today Yards. So Turn let's head right. over there and I will talk to you guys when I get there eventually because I keep I don't know how to Turn drive right. currently. You have and here it is guys uh, we're back Top Gear story Top Gear Horizon special let's go solo Season changing. Um, what? It's not even Thursday yet. It's Tuesday. Oh, my controller vibrated just like crazy just right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I don't know if I could play this. Uh, I'm going to turn off the, uh, the audio for these Stink like little bits very fast farm Except equipment for this. i hail a taxi and finishing with something that i'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here oh it's a lotus what is oh look at the bunny i'm chris harris and this is the top gear horizon special Ah uh, yes, the stick, our very own UFO, unidentified fast object, the world's least obedient racing driver. Least right obedient, then, the you Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age-old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hold up. Where are we going? We have to go up. So from here. Instead of going all the way around, I could have just turned around and then gone this way. Literally just freaking whoop you and made it. Okay, if we don't make the three star, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Made it! Was there ever any doubt? The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one of the best handling cars ever made. The Sport That's 190 is its hardcore cousin. It made me go all the way around for no reason. You can drive to work and across fields, it turns out. But if it's true agricultural transport you're after, we have just the thing. I'm Chris Harris. No, wait. This I want to do this Top again. Gear I need to do this again. Special. Ah, yes, the stick, our very own UFO, Bet. unidentified fast. Bet. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure you're supposed to come through here. You see, because it gives you like 19 seconds just to freaking get to 90. And then after that, it's like, oh, once you reach 90, it's 10 seconds if you don't, if you're not at 90 again. I know how to get there. I think. Yeah. Turn here. 
Okay, I might fail this because of the get back to 90. Oh, this is close. Oh my goodness. A serious it doesn't give you... Your oh, shoot. It doesn't give you... Um, like direction. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed yes. to go through here. Oh, nope. Okay, if you're going like the way I'm going, it doesn't give you a point or it doesn't give you like a line to follow on the map. If you look on the bottom left, there's no blue line anymore. There's just a blue dot in the distance. Stay above 90. A minute 40 to stay uh, at three stars. I can do this. I have like 30 seconds. Oh, I have 20 seconds. Well, did it? Oh, this is not helping. It's say to use the fastest route possible, and if there's one thing faster than a racing line, it's a straight line. If you've got to hand it to the stick. Oh shoot! Oh, come on, please. Oh, I got this. I'm in the bag. Three down? stars. The Let's freaking go. All, if you guys are having trouble, that's made. how you're supposed to do it. Just want to point that out there. Hardcore cousin, a road -going racer you can drive to work. And across fields, it turns out. But if it's true banging out these three oh you're God. after, we have just the thing. We got just the thing. I'm down. There you go, guys. So if you guys are having trouble with this first one, just uh, once you hit the waterfall, uh, make a left. And follow the route that I just took and you'll get it in no time. You'll get your three stars for that one in no time. Ooh, a BMW 1M. Great car. Hang on. That's my BMW 1M. What am I supposed to do? Seriously, not funny. Who oh, gave not damages. The keys? So just get there without damaging it. Okay, that's cool. Park destination without exceeding damage limit. I mean, I literally right. just cleaned it. Now it's gonna smell of onions. Odor stick. What? Does naught to sixty in four point eight seconds. My one M. Stig's way beyond that now. In two hundred yards, turn left. Turn left. Look at the smoke! Please leave me some tread for the drive home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on! Peter straight six, 335 okay. horsepower, two turbos, as much sideways action as you like. You're telling me to not waste your tread and then you're like, you can go as much sideways as you like. Not at all. I'll buy you a new car, dude. Chris, Mr. Turn left. Mr. Chris. It says park. So Almost do I have to like now. keep going? Do I just oh, park? I was really getting into that. Just park it up now, stick, and uh, mind the curbs. Oh, yards. I do have to park it. Turn right. Oh, dude, that thing almost hit me. Mind the curves, I got you. There you go. Boom. Right. Oh, we're doing the track tour. If you don't mind. This is Top Gear's right. track tour. It's a tractor, obviously, but with a 5.7 liter Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. And here comes the Stig again. Farm Stig. Born in a barn, they say. Weaned by pigs. Can plow a field in under six seconds. <laughs> okay. You know how long it takes to plow a field? There's a speed camera on the M68. Rumor has it, it only flashes above 87.2 miles an hour. Our tractor has been officially clocked at 87.2 miles an hour, making it the world's fastest tractor. But I reckon it'll go even faster. 
Get out of my way! You see a full on tractor with exhaust going out the top with a spoiler the size of America over here and you decide to sit in front of it? Steady on stick. Those are 54 inch mud tires, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. I, I can't with the freaking traffic in this game. Here comes the speed camera. Hope they put some film in it. Whoa! Have you ever seen anything like it? That's a new tractor speed record and some impressively fast farming. If you want to spread slurry Did in the hurry, it? you know what you need. Now though, it's time to hail a ride. Boom! Three stars. You have to hit 124, guys. Continue. I called a cab earlier. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. My character Hands glitched. down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? I don't think you want to find out. So I had a word with Aisha. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bambara Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although, oh my I God, I can't even drive this car. Who'd be driving? You've guessed it. The cabbie will always get you to your destination very early but probably won't be anywhere near where you asked to go. Holding a drift is a delicate balance of throttle, steering, and shouting. Oh, I see, the stick shouting at the tires. A good old-fashioned rolling burnout. We ordered some spare rubber, right? In 200 yards, turn right, turn right. I missed my exit. Can we just not have music on, please? I turn now it off for a reason. I call a cab. There we go. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 750 horsepower, plus bucket seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. Stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed right. up for the next bit. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. So I saw AR-12 do so this, and you then. have to go In back. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? <laughs> oh, look so. at that! Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's In a video, the AR-12 did. You have to, once you here. get there, you have Go to turn around and come back as fast as you can. The, beach. the thing is, there's something I haven't told the Stig. Speed record rules say you must do two runs, one in each direction, before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which, of course, is when the handbrake comes in handy. These are really hard, but after watching a video on how to do some of them, uh, a five -star ride from the, the learning there, curve is pretty easy. Cab, maximum speed. This is Project EAT. That's EAT for E-Class All-Terrain. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though. Mostly badgers. Still, there's definitely some terrain. Lots of it. All you need is a good sense of direction. Or not. Here's Stig again, looking lost. Terrified of maps, apparently. Inner compass points directly south. 
The EA this thing looks like has a, a silky smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannoch by any means necessary and against the clock, naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tires and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. In 400 yards, <laughs> turn left. Touche, dude, touche. Turn left. drive car on mud tires completely sideways you'd do well in rallying with skills like that top draw drifting i reckon who says you need an suv to go off-road the eat has four-wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles ancient burial mounds for example that's a very specific thing that he just said what the heck ancient burial grounds Time to head way over there to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, what goes up must come down. Turn around when it is safe. On to the final stretch now. Just the small matter of getting up Arthur's seat. The clock's ticking, so better step on it, Stiggy. Recalculating route. Oh, come on! I have to go all the way. Around. That's uh, well played, game. Well, well played. Two hundred yards. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, I have ten seconds. Oh, I have ten seconds. Oh, come on! It's right there. I'm not gonna do it. I'm so upset. You have no idea. And there we go. The top of Arthur's seat. Uh, Arthur is, by the way, all why his seat's so big. Nice view, though. Shame there's no time to stick around. Now, I said we'd be driving some British classics, and you don't get more British than a car built in Birmingham designed by a man from Greece. Anyway, here it is, an original Mini Cooper S, an icon of 60s engineering. It was designed for cities, but this is the wide body one, so we're going to need a bit more room. And I know just the place. Ready, Stick? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. The music is not something I want in this game right now. This thing sounds amazing. We've got everything we need here. An airfield, the original rapid runabout, and the stick. I'm looking forward to this. Again with the music. Look at that. Laying down some rubber there. Not that it has much to lay. After all, tiny wheels mean tiny tires. Okay, so you need skill points. I think this is enough. I mean, it's still going. Holy shoot. Alright, someone tell the stick we're done now. It's time for a spot of sightseeing. This one's taking a while to load. Oh, here oh, we are look then. At it. Edinburgh. Where it's time for a spot of turbocharged tourism with this the mighty Porsche GT2 RS. All we need now is our tour guide. Muck Stig, the world's worst Scotsman. Allergic to tartan, absolutely petrified of bagpipes, or so I've heard. This Porsche looks amazing. Right, let's see if we can visit every bell tower in Edinburgh and get back here before they all stop ringing. In 400 yards out, take the first exit. Into the final stretch now. Note to Stig, remember to park properly at the end. And watch out for traffic warnings. Park. Gosh, dang it. Good work. Ha 
hard on those carbon ceramic brakes now. They could stop a locomotive dead in its tracks. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I told you oh, we'd what finish is this? the fan's favorite, and here it is. No, not the lorry. The thing on the back. Do I have to try that? You'll love it. But first, we need to move it to... into position. Thankfully, <gasps> we have our very own haulage expert, a trucker's trucker. Aww. No load too large. Yes, it's big rig oh. stick. I have to drive it. Oh, I can drive it. Right, now take it easy, Stig. That's some expensive cargo you have back there. Costs as much as a house. And weighs about the same, too. Uh, I'm almost pretty damn sure that there's a 6x6 on this thing. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my god, you guys don't even know. Yes, money. Full on. I cannot. That's... Oh Worked my god. Out what it is yet? Okay, here are some crypto Yes, I already know what it is. It's all-wheel drive, what? but not four-wheel drive. It's a wagon, it's six -wheel drive. but you definitely don't need a horse to pull it. Hmm. That's a good thing. It's a, it's a G-Wagon, six by six. Turn left. Turn left. Oh! <laughs> There's no brakes on this thing. Again, with this crap music, I don't need it in my life. And this thing does not stop. It's rejecting every- look at it! Oh, I'm so freaking excited! Turn this music off! Uh, why am I still going? Okay. I'll rewind one more time. Start stopping here at this time. I just want to get there already. Hurry up. This thing drives so slow. Oh my god, come on. That's five tons of flatbed oh. carrying four tons on its back. Okay, Don't you just hate getting stuck behind a slow, lumbering old... Wait a minute. It's actually accelerating. Up a hill. I guess that's what 900 foot-pounds of torque does for you. That plus trucker stick. Okay, so it said four tons on the on the back. So this thing practically weighs like eight thousand pounds. Apparently, the G wagon weighs eight thousand pounds, according to to this thing over here of what it said. And we're back. Oh come on! Oh, I'm like right here. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I wanna I wanna whip the covers off. Let me whip the covers off. I have to park right. Job, big there we go. Stick. Suits mm. you, you know. Although, oh come god, to think oh of god, it, oh god, oh maybe pick up some more your style. Especially oh, come the on. one we have in store. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me. Show me. I give you the Mercedes G63 AMG Look at it. 6x6. Oh my the goodness. A four-ton six-wheel sports utility truck. Basically, a G-Wagon with the back half of a pickup thrown in for free. Uh, I'm so Our freaking hyped. Holy shoot, this V8. thing launches. Usually it's limited to 100 miles an hour, but not this one. In 100 yards, turn right. This thing is insane. It's going really fast. Oh, someone call air traffic control. I'm pretty sure you need a special license to fly one of these. I cannot believe I'm driving this thing. With all of the wheels comes all of the grip. The 6x6 turns mountains into motorways. 
Is there anything it can't conquer? In 100 yards, turn left. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, redo, redo. Yeah, that's better, that's better. 400 yards. Turn left. Recalculating route. It makes 536 horsepower and more than 760 newton meters of torque. With that speed limiter removed, and with the stick behind the wheel, it'll do 125 miles an hour, with a bit of a run-up. That is crazy. Oh, turn please, come on. It's tough, the 6x6. After all, it was originally made for the Australian Army. It's basically a tank, with heated seats. In 200 yards, Turn left. It can wade through a meter of water, this thing. Most cars need full scuba kit at that depth. Ridiculous. Look at this thing. Yards. Oh my god. Turn left. Turn left. Top job there, Stig. Three stars. That was three stars. No idea what stick does with one. Five minutes and ten seconds. I have to get there within five minutes and ten seconds for the Mercedes 6x6. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Can I skip this? this? Is Project EAT. I cannot. That's okay. EAT for E Class All Terrain. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though mostly badgers still there's definitely some terrain lots of it all you need is a good sense of direction or not here's stig again looking lost terrified of maps apparently inner compass points directly south all right all right all right let's go come on the eat has a silky smooth v6 diesel it'll do 155 miles an hour on the road but where we're going we won't need roads i did it i got it what the flying fuzz did I just hit? I like bounced off the top of a tree. Did you guys see that? Am I crazy? There we, go. The top of Arthur's seat. we unlocked no the 6x6, six six, guys. By the way, oh, hurry up. Come on. Give it to me. Look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Drone mode. Drone mode. <gasps> Look at this beautiful thing. Oh, okay. I'm in it. Okay. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I love the lights in the top of the thing. I love the bars in the back. Oh, look at the luxurious interior. We'll look at the interior when we're in the, in the shop. I'm going to... I'm not going to drive it there, but... Look at that, six exhaust, six tires. These little tanks right here, if you guys don't know, well, they're not very, uh, they're not very graphic, but the little golden things, cylinders you see there, those are actually air tanks, and you can individually air up every single tire all around this Mercedes. I cannot believe I am driving my dream truck in for in this game. It's an AMG 6x6. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I want one. I want one so bad. Oh, look at it. Hear that sound and it spits fire. So I don't know if it'll burn out or spin tire.
We can try to drift it. Oh shoot. Well, let's try and drift it. Let's get up to like 50. No. Uh, let's just go. I cannot believe I'm driving this thing. Oh, it'll 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 hold a little bit of a drift, but not a lot. Cannot believe I'm driving this thing. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be doing a video right after this one, guys. So, like I said, subscribe. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell if you guys wanna see uh, more videos. Oh, look at that. That's like a perfect thing right there. Let's uh, capture screenshot. How do I stabilize this thing? There we go. Take one from this side also. Look at that monster. It looks so amazing. Well, these things also have portal axles. So I don't know how accurate. Oh, they did get it in. You see? Look at that clearance. Oh my. I honestly can't with this freaking truck. Look at it. It's so perfect, man. I just noticed there's an ice cream cone right there. That was a garbage can in the freaking way. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the Top Gear story. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video right after this one. Uh, on this this truck, on this 6x6, it's in the game. It's not a joke. It's not clickbait. It's not anything. So, like I said, be sure to go check it out uh, right after I'm done recording and uploading this video. Thanks, you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be about this amazing truck right here.